I really like doing log file analysis really just right at a command prompt. I think it's really good to start with some regular command line basics. So let's try this. I'll show you an exercise that I normally do for my students. Here's an example of a log file, and it's a Cisco PIX log file. Pretty nasty log file, right? And one of the things I run into is I get students all the time who are like, hey, Joe, you know, can you help me with um, incident response, forensics? I want to get into that side of the world. And I think it's because they watch way too much NCIS. You know, it's, it's not what you think it is. When they finally kind of get into the world and they get faced with a huge thing of logs, you know, it's, it's kind of where the time to separate the men from the boys. This is some nasty stuff. So I'm hoping that I can give you something that will help you out. So let's try this. I know this is going to look really stupid, but I'm hoping that it kind of sets your mind for how you want to deal with logs. So let's say I'm looking at this log, and in this case you guys can see that this is a Cisco PIX log file. And it's from an investigation I did a long time ago. You can see 2006. Good God, I don't want to claim that I've been doing this stuff that long, but the simple truth is, yeah, I have. So this is a Cisco PIX log file. And you can see that I did a find replace on it. So it's customer picks, right? Attacker IP, the access URL. Here's the target IP. And then here's where it went, right? So as you look through this log file, you see that there's a whole lot of nastiness all through it. But what I would tell you to do is... I would try to put this in some context. Hopefully this helps you. If you need to look at a log file, the first thing you want to do is reduce the noise. Here's what I mean. If I see this text here, 189 November 11, 2006, do you see that this text repeats itself for the whole log file? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that text, paste it right in here, and I'm going to do a find replace on that text. And I'm going to replace it with nothing. Then if you look here, you see that you've got this whole section from here all the way to here where it's the exact same thing, all the way down, all the way down. So I'm going to do the same thing there. I'm going to take this whole blob, and I'm going to do another find replace. The concept is reduce the noise. If, if I have something in a log file, or, or anything for that matter, but if I have something and it never changes, it never changes, then there's no point in me looking at it because it's just more crap for me to sift through. So your first thing is reduce the noise. Now watch what I'm going to do. As I go through this, you're going to see that every time I find a directory, I start separating this text. So if you look at this now, you can see, okay, so at 358.48, he went to Oz Images, 358.49, uh, 58.49, Oz Images, Icons folder. Okay, now you see him go for Oz Configuration, Oz Config config.php, look at the time difference. Six seconds later, five seconds later, 13 seconds later, right? Nearly 30 seconds later, okay? That's somebody by hand. That's somebody by hand. If it were an automated tool, it would be in rapid succession, right? Like literally several, several requests during, during the same second in some cases, right? So six, seven, seven, eight, 13, 15 seconds apart, 30 seconds later, that's somebody by hand. So we've already figured out this is a real attacker. 
If we keep going down, we keep looking through the logs, we'll keep seeing that the same thing is happening. Right? So you can see that the guy's like, okay, well, let me try T attachments. Let me try T equals templates. Let me try settings dot dot slash. No, that didn't work. Let me try dot dot slash settings. No, that didn't work. Let me try dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash Etsy password. No, that didn't work. Let me try Etsy password with a null byte at the end. That's, this is a null byte. And he goes, no, that didn't work. So we try some more stuff. Then you see him do a remote file include, right? So here's this database call, but it points to a remote site. So this is him trying to download a file from a remote site. Okay, looks like it's a CGI computer science Kent.edu, so Kent State. Okay. And now it looks like this default language stuff is working because you see this dot dot slash Etsy password stuff is working and it's working everywhere. You see this? In other words, he keeps doing it. So obviously this is working. So now I see that text. I'm going to grab that text right there. There we go. So can you guys see what I'm doing here? So I got a little space. I'm going to put a space right here as well. So this is going to be replaced with this. Okay. Do that. Put that three spaces as well. We'll do a nice little fine replace there. So as we start getting down onto these logs, we can see all these places were here. Here's where he's doing that directory traversal attack, and it's obviously successful. We look over here and we can see all these commands. So percent sign 20 is a space. So let's go to percent sign 20. We'll replace that with a space, right? So now we get down in here and we can see the actual commands that the attacker is running. So here we can see he's doing an ls. Here we can see he's doing a uname dash a finger trying to get a list of users ls dot dot slash ls dash la dot dot slash ls dash la dot dot slash dot dot slash again now he's doing a w get and it looks like he's trying to pull down an r57 web shell uh -huh. okay cat config.php so now we can actually see the attacker driving around Okay, here's him stealing the WordPress credentials. Here's him trying to read the password file. Here's him trying to find the people's command line history. He's probably trying to find his own. Make sure he wipes his own logs. There we go. Okay, looks like he's been messing with the password file. Cat password.old. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Our attacker's having some fun, fun, fun on this server, isn't he? If I can help you learn about who we are, and hopefully, if you're willing to join us, this is InfoSec Addicts.